on Divorce Court today. Music versus marriage. Can a couple survive a cross-country move? Perry moved to pursue his dream, and Star Day is worried that she has lost his love. Perry Lambert and Star Day Johnson have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony and divorce court before your vows starts now. This is a before your vows. Uh, Mr. Lambert and Ms. Johnson have come here to ask me my advice on their union. They're engaged, but they're not quite sure. They gave me their marriage license and they did a compatibility test and I'm going to give you my opinion as to the viability of your union. So uh, let's just get right into it. Mr. Lambert, you said in your papers that you believe the, your move that you made for your job has hurt your relationship. Can you explain to me how that is? Your Honor, I recently moved down to Atlanta to pursue my music career and it definitely has put a strain on our relationship. I've been rapping since I was 16 years old mm -hmm. under the name Roulette Delgado, and my music is my passion. Mm -hmm. It's what I love. Um, when I met Starday, she was very supportive of my career and you know all the choices I made for my career. And it got to a point where I started to feel like I've done all I could as far as my career goes in Portland. Well, Starday still lives in Portland. Oh, well, that'll do us. <laughs> <laughs> I moved, um, and Starday stayed there. And reason being is I love Starday. You know, I love her a lot. She's my heart. She's my number one. Starday has two children that I also love. And I feel like if Starday was to move down to Atlanta, to where I was at, I would have to jump into the driver's seat and, you know, be a father kind of settle down, push my music to the side. I couldn't put 110% into my music like I really want to. So hold up. What you're telling me basically is you don't want it down there because it's too much responsibility. Did I read that right? Yes. Wow. Ms. Johnson, have you had this conversation with Mr. Lambert before? Um, since he's been in Atlanta, we barely talk. Like, if I'm not calling him, we don't talk. We agreed before he moved, we would at least talk once a day. We did that for the first week, and that was it. We, I talked to him through messaging. If I don't How long were, were the two of you together <clears throat> before you, he moved to Atlanta? We was together for six years on and off, but we've been together for the last year and a half. Um, Who brought up the idea of marriage? Who said the word? I've been talking about it. Uh oh, <laughs> so he didn't say the word. You've been giving him words right. about marriage. <laughs> right. Is that did I, is that true? Yeah, yeah. You want the ring already? Right. Wonder why the brother won't come across with it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're here trying to get me in on it. <laughs> <laughs> Make this brother give yeah. you that ring. It is kind of where we are, isn't it? Right. Ms. Johnson, tell me why you think this is the right time and he's the right guy. I'm in love with him. Um, he's my best friend. I feel like he's my soulmate, and my kids love him. As and... a soulmate, explain the lack of communication from Atlanta. Explain that and soulmate. Get him, get him in the same room for me. Well, actually, the lack of communication started in Portland. Um, we barely talked here, and we did the living situation, and, like, he talks to everyone else besides me. He never talks to me. In order for me to get in contact with him, now that he's in Atlanta, I have to track him down, for the most part. <laughs> do you see the picture that you're painting here? Yeah. Hmm. Do, do, you, 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 do you see it? You know, because yeah. I asked you to get soulmate, and he doesn't talk to me in the same room. Right. And you told me things that were even more alarming and, yeah. and, and you know, screaming, I'm not the guy, I'm not the guy, not right. soulmate. If he gave you a ring today, would you get married today? Even despite whatever problems you're having? No. What's the biggest problem you think you have? <clears throat> we have had issues as far as, like, his friends doesn't like me. 
and they've made it very clear they don't like me, they don't like his relationship, and he just seems to always run back and tell his friends everything. Do your friends not like her? My friends don't like Star Day because she's jealous of some of our relationships and um, also, you know, jealous of my career sometimes because I, you know, I do shows, you know, I'm out promoting and doing stuff like that and sometimes females, you know, they talk to me, sometimes females, you know, throw themselves at me, mm -hmm. like, it's, it's a lot of that. Well, what does she do when she's jealous? How, is, she, is she fussing and nagging? Is she looking <laughs> in your phone? Is she um, blowing up your phone? It's more like fussing and nagging sometimes, and I don't like to argue. Like, I do not like to argue. I don't like confrontation, and that's one of our biggest problems is fighting over stuff. And I don't, and I'm kind of a runner. Like, I, I will hang up the phone, or I'll just be like, I don't want to talk about that which I know isn't that good, but at the same time... Yeah, it's good. That marriage is tough when you're not talking. <laughs> yeah, and so it's, uh, it's scary sometimes for me uh -huh. because I just, coming up, you know, I went through a lot, and I just don't like arguing, confrontation, and fighting. <laughs> Y'all wrote something on here just, 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 just... You say that he defriended you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one, that's deep, because that's just part of life. The Facebook is so much a part of life, and people are getting their status from there. But you want to marry him, he doesn't even want to be your friend on Facebook. <laughs> Explain. Yeah. Explain that to me. He deleted me. We get into it over Facebook a lot, because if we argue or we have a dispute, he, you know, puts on his status, if you can't communicate with someone, why are you in a relationship? And oh my God. he's more of, he likes attention, so. That is not true. <laughs> and Do you put your business on, on there when you get mad, you start typing? It's, it's true that sometimes I'll <laughs> say stuff, but it's not always about my relationship. It could be about a whole bunch of other things, but. Let me give you my thoughts on that whole matter. Next, should her financial support continue even after Star Day has been defriended? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as divorce? Call toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court, real relationships, raw emotion. Testimony continues now. Mr. Lambert, why don't you tell me what's the main reason you don't want Ms. Johnson down in Atlanta right now? I want to focus on my career, okay? What, it may sound selfish, but I want to focus on my career, taking my career to the next level, and making sure that I can get to a point where I can provide you know, for my family when that do, happens. Do you have a long range game plan? I mean, can you give her some idea when you think you might be stable enough to bring her on down? I mean, we haven't really talked about a game plan or a time frame, but. Well, what have you guys talked about? You're not on Facebook together. <laughs> you don't like to argue. Well, we're not friends on Facebook because you know, I don't feel like I should be judged or chastised because of my posting and what I do on my page. Like, that's my business. And so I unfriended her for that reason. And I don't, I don't feel like that's a problem. So, you know, in a sense, it's like, I do love her, but I don't feel like social media is gonna, you know, is, it's not gonna, it doesn't say what we are. In a uh -huh, relationship. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, it doesn't... But it's interesting. You, I think that's very right. Social media doesn't say what you are in a relationship, but everybody turns to social media and, and messes up their relationship on it. <laughs> True. Do you, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, to defriend somebody, it's not because it's not a good relationship. It's, that's just a cold thing to do if it's somebody you're thinking about marrying. It's like, you can't... I'll, I'll talk to my friends on this thing, but not her. I, that, that's all I'm saying. Let me ask you this. What do you think about the finances in your relationship? Uh, are you concerned that he couldn't, he couldn't hold down the money if you went to Atlanta, or are you economically stable on your own? 
Um, I'm stable on my own, but financially, I've been supporting both of us and my kids. Okay. Since he's moved? Object. Yes. That's Hang on, not... no, 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 no. Ms. Johnson, explain yes. to me the economic situation where you're supporting him. Since he's moved to Atlanta, he went with no money. Mm -hmm. I've sent him money because he didn't How have any. How much money have you sent him? Altogether, a couple of hundred. And he's only been gone for six weeks. Six weeks, and you've sent him a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Was he working when he was in Portland? Um, at the beginning of our relationship, yeah. And then what? And then I... Did you guys live together in yeah, the same we, house? Yeah, we lived together for a year, and I pretty much was just... Were you paying the rent? Paying the rent, the bills, whatever needed to be done. I take it you don't have the same story to tell. <laughs> okay. Start A was paying the rent and paying the bills. When I moved in and started staying with Start A, I had a job, but I was doing care providing. And so my job was off and on because it depended on if somebody need care or not. Right. And so I didn't always have a job, but what I was doing was doing music pretty much full time. I was not getting pay, like a full time paycheck from music. But I was doing my music, I was doing shows, I'm in the studio, you know, I'm going to middle schools and high schools, talking to kids about, you know, getting up and over obstacles in their lives and how I got the mind. But basically, I get that, I mean, but you're doing you. Yeah. And not doing anything for them, is, is, is what I'm getting. <laughs> no, she's paying the bills and you're doing, you're taking care of what you want to take care of, right? Mm, right. And you weren't paying the rent and you weren't putting on the bills, you were putting on for you. Right. Right. You were spending your money on you. Right. While you allowed her to keep you. <laughs> Ms. Johnson, why don't you give me 90 seconds? Why do you think that Mr. Lambert is the man for you? I'm, I'm in love with him. Um, he's outgoing. His personality, he's, he's a great person. He's very talented. My kids love him. And we've been through a lot. And I'm not a quitter, so... Not a quitter. Mm. Mr. Lambert, give me 90 seconds why Ms. Johnson is the woman for you. I mean, I look at her. She's beautiful inside and out. She's a great mother, you know, very hardworking, very uh, career oriented, you know, very driven. Um, you know, she's always supported me in whatever I do, whatever I decide to do. She supports my music. You know, she pushes for me and she's always there for me. Sounds like a great employee. <laughs> great mother, hard worker, driven, you know. I'd, I'd hire her. I'd hire her. When divorce court before your vows continues, will the compatibility test reveal a secret Perry's been struggling to share with the woman he loves? Do you think Starday should continue to support Perry's career? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now, 1-800-282-1991. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Real relationships, raw emotion. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Lambert, I think she likes you because you're a nice guy. And I think you are a nice guy. I really do. I don't think that you said, hey, she's a sister, I'm gonna use her. And, and uh, you, you know, I think you genuinely care for her and love her and love her kids. I think the problems that you have with respect to this relationship are unrelated to her. And when I read your compatibility test, I had to take a deep breath. I think you need to tell her what you told me because I think she has a right to know. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> I think it's unusual for you to do this in this forum. You could have said this elsewhere, but I don't know if you ever, sometimes you can't get brave enough to do things and you take the first opportunity you can. That's the only thing I can think of. So he said one, he wasn't ready to be a family man. And to me, that's the kiss of death on a, a compatibility report. I'm not ready. He said when he came out here, I'm not ready. And 
I need you to hear I'm not ready as I don't want to. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not ready. He may never be ready. I'm not ready is often something softer that people say when they say, I don't want you. But why don't you tell me what it is? Or actually, tell her what you told me. The real reason why everything has been so push and pull with our relationship and the way I act and a lot of things is because, <clears throat> honestly, I'm bisexual. Were you aware? No. It's your moment. I mean, if you want to speak, speak on it. It's something that I've been keeping, you know, from her, from my family, from everybody. And I'm to a point now where, you know, I'm 28 years old. And obviously, I want to be happy. I want to leave this earth as a happy person, individual. And... And you I, want to live your truth. I mean, you want to live truthfully in who you are mm -hmm. and about who you love. And you, you care for her, and it was difficult to say to her, you know, to live an honest life, I have to explore this side of myself. Am, 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 right. I, am I right? Yeah, and there were rumors going around Portland about, you know, stuff that happened, and I denied it to the fullest, and I told her, I said, listen, babe, don't listen to that. Don't, that's... And I should have been honest then, but I wasn't. You say, yes, that's me. That, this is who I am. I should have. But because I love her and I didn't want to hurt her, I was not honest with her. And I wasn't honest with anybody. Ms. Johnson, you don't have to say a word if you don't want to, because this is just hard. Is there something you want to say to him? No. Yeah. It's just hard. It's just hard. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court, Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Ms. Johnson, I'm, I'm going to say this to you. Number one, you're beautiful. You're obviously, you, you're smart. You make money. Uh, this too shall pass. It really will. You'll get over him. You'll get by it, and it'll be okay. That's number one. Number two, Never make a man tell you he doesn't want you more than once. Because he's bisexual means he's, he enjoys women. And it could come a time or a place where he, he rebounds. Don't let that happen. Uh, you know, you say you're not a quitter. That will rise to haunt you in a relationship if he's quit and you haven't. It, right. it keeps you tied to someone who doesn't want to be with you at this time. I think he's a good person. I think he's a nice guy. I think that's what got him into this to begin with, is that he didn't want to hurt you, because he does truly love you, and you're a truly lovable person. He's hurt now that he hurt you. And uh, I hope you see and feel that. Because, but don't, not available to you anymore. It's over. That's the end of it today. And the beauty of that is, that opens the door to new and better. Do you know what I mean? That opens the, the door to the next guy or to the next person. You don't have to wait and wonder whether somebody in Atlanta is ever going to ask you to come down. You can, you can open up your eyes and see what's around you and see what else there is to joy. And you don't have to wonder, did I give it enough of a chance? Did I give it enough of a shot? Did, it, did I stick in there long? You don't have to wonder anymore. Right. He's not available to you. And, and you're not going to do anything confusing, are you, Mr. Lambert? No. Come back by the house. With the, you know what I mean? You can be friends. But don't do anything confusing. You know, to love her again in a romantic way would be unkind and unfair. And I understand you carried that burden with you a long time and you didn't want to hurt her, because I saw how it hurt you to tell her. But don't let her become convenient for you. Right. That's all I'm saying, because she's a known quantity. OK? Mm -hmm. You with me? I'm not going to tear up that marriage license, because it's, it's just too sad. So I'm just going to say best of luck to both of you, and this matter is adjourned. Starday respects the judge's advice and has realized that Perry is not yet ready for a committed relationship. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1 877 311 2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.